everybody. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Vision of the Child. Uh, this year promises to be different. As you can see, children are having fun. Even adults are not left out either. Let me quickly tell you something interesting about this year's event. First off, the venue is different. We are at the Lekki Conservative Center, where it's so beautiful up in here. I have to tell you that. See everywhere, there are a lot of sightseeing, there are a lot of animals for you to see. And another interesting thing about this year's event is the theme. The theme is uh, the road to Sambisa. And it was inspired by the sad, sad story of the Chibok girls, the abduction of Chibok girls. We are going to be talking to the children because today they are going to be saying or giving their perception of the happening through paintings and through their poetry. So we're going to be talking to them later on. So I want you guys to sit back, relax and enjoy this year's Vision of the Child competition. If you're a genuine paint lover, you will appreciate, appreciate what these children are doing. As you can see behind me, see little children, the future of tomorrow, painting and trying to represent their thoughts into pictures. I want you guys to see this, so I'm going to go in and show you. And inside the have National Chibo Girls, they are bound by a chain that restricts them from going to school, from being things they could have been in life, from understand, from meeting their parents, talking to their parents. And yeah, that, that yes are falling from their eyes so the gone there is also a gone that is restricting them the have nation from seeing telling your people what's happened to them from letting that people know so the have the gone is the one restricting them from being sure that this is the amount of not sure the girl in the painting symbolizes one of the chibok girls and as us as of now she's telling She's one of Chibok girls that escapes and she's telling the story of what she saw on her way um, to the Sambisa forest. And at the end it's going to be dark which will symbolize um, her um, this thing, like her fears and Children have a way of saying what they feel or showing what they feel, just exactly how they feel it. That's the beautiful thing about a child's innocence. I want you to take a closer look at this girl's painting. There's a part here that says, we want to go to our mommy and our daddy. To this little girl, the way she saw the experience or the way she can perceive the experience is how difficult, how very sad it is to be away from your parents for so long. This symbolizes Niger the Nigerian's cry for liberty. So, because hundreds of innocent girls were kidnapped in the school of Chibok, they are now in captive till today. That's what just inspired my heart. This painting is showing the road to Sambisa Forest. As you can see, this blue, this, this blue color is the sky and is reflecting on the land. And then this other color, the yellow and orange, is the drawing color and reflecting on the sky. This girl, like she was in the bus, so she like broke the window trying to escape, and the man caught her, trying to kill her, but she's begging. Once again, reserve and a terrorist center, but due to the government's abandonment, it later became a forest. On the 14th of April 2014, the Islamic insurgent known as Boko Haram kidnapped to over 230 girls from Chibok, from their school and took them to the Sambisa forest. This is a picture of my forest. These trees represent how bushy the place is. This tells me that the Chippewa girls, this road there represents the road to Sambisa. And there is a crack on the road, so people will not be able to pass. And also, there are footprints on the road. And this footprint is just one leg and so it will not be um we will not be able to trace the girls my painting here has just explained how the girls are suffering and what they are facing see trees grew bigger white animals and birds white animals birds and monkeys invaded the forest furthermore the instruments handled by the Islamic insurgents, known as Boko Haram, are never 
instruments of peace, but of war and threatening to the Nigerians. Um, the love signifies the love we have for the Chiba girls. The handshake signifies unity. And this face at this side says the Chiba girls are sad and they've lost hope. But here they are happy and they know that one day that they are going to meet their parents one day. Edition, the vision of the child. My sisters, my colleague, my co knowledge acquires. My heart beats like a city on the heart. The Chippewa girls were abducted on the 14th of April 2014. How did they do it? Convoy of buses or a, a, a supersonic jet that takes 200 at a time? So let's do all we can to get these girls out of this dark forest. Please don't cry. See, I can stay. Don't ask me why. Some pizza! Some pizza! Some pizza! I'm gonna find my destiny. I had a bottle. Gentlemen, my name is Samuel Lanche. I'm from Dan Vic Leaders College. I am here to speak on the theme, the road to Sambisa. Sambisa is a forest found in Borno State. It was formerly known to be a game reserve, but now to the terrorist group camp for Boko Haram. Boko Haram with a wicked meaning, the education of a South Africa should be abolished. To my own understanding, the upbringers of the group are those assassins that government officials send to kill people who oppose their ruling and defend their mercies. April 14, 2014 is a day I will never forget, even in a jiffy. It was the day my sisters, my colleague, my core knowledge acquires went to school to learn, but were kidnapped by Boko Haram in the twinkling of an eye. It took 10 good days for the federal government to accept the fact that the girls were truly kidnapped. <laughs> May I throw a question to the audience? How will you react in the next 10 seconds if you hear one of your daughters has gone missing? Some of them are even killed if they refuse to recite the Quran. According to one of the escaped girls, they are rare 15 times daily. According to the latest report about the insurgency in the northern east, the government has hereby equipped our military with weapons to fight against our enemies. Baga and Mubi are villages recovered by the Nigerian military. If the military has been so active, the case of Boko Haram would have been no more. Barack Obama, during his campaign for presidency, stated that, yes, we can fly. But I said to Nigerian leaders, we won't fly. We will walk to our destinations through determination. When will the president act? When will the vice president act? When will the senior president act? We don't only act when the relatives are victims of the insurgents. I remember when the uncle of the president of the Republic of Nigeria was kidnapped, it took only three days to bring him back. But in the case of the abducted Chiba school girls, it's about a year and ten days today, yet they are not back. 
even for the corruption in the country, when it's only two political parties that will be recognized in a large country like Nigeria. But I believe that in my lifetime, there shall be political parties like God's Own Party, GOP, and Party for Peace and Progress, PPP. This is my vision as a child. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angela Obiwa, and I'm from and I'm from Pampas Private School, Lekki. This is the proverbial phantom that tumbles the corridors of power from Niger to Yankee, from Agbada mm, mm, to Kaki. Be it the cross or the crescent. Everything goes kaboom like the hammer turn fire whose backs blind bats and ground eagles the paths of Sambisa make warriors wet pants in battle two hundred hearts in search of knowledge Landed in the citadel of San Pisa, beseeching mortal or immortal to deliver them from the belly of the beast, even as political magic and jaws. 200 hearts into a hashtag, while 170 million Ibn hopes mingle. With the volcanic blood of the slain, crying for the green eagle to rise, as in the days of Biafra, before the era of the deep militants, when men's blood boiled against oppression, and about women stripped to conquer, before. The viruses in tribes of religion ate the brains and hearts of even those who should know better. Let the great giants awake. Let all and sundry tread the path of Sambisa to uproot every tree of terrorism. We will surely destroy this obscure forest. And even if we all go kaboom, the trees, the bushes, the beasts, and the forest of San Pisa would also be no more. San Pisa, San Pisa, San Pisa, ready or not, here we come. Pack my bags, I'm leaving town I bought a one-way ticket, I ain't coming back It's goodbye friends, and goodbye foes I'm heading for the city, and that's my home Welcome, Samara Miebi Akika. Samara Miebi Akika. She is a prize. Will you rise up for the champion tonight? And in the first position tonight, in the painting category, with painting number two. From Ajara Junior Grammar School, Badagri. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ashaka Victory Dona. Ashaka Victory Dona in the painting category. And we go away with a check of 250,000 from Diamond Bank. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Congratulations.